Hi, Sadell here, and I'm back with uh, a new video on art ergonomics. Uh, in the video previous to this, I was introducing that I'm going to be uh, offering some videos talking about how we take care of our body when we're creating. Um, and so I want to, one of the first things I just want to say is that this can apply to you whether you're an artist or whether you really any kind of work, any kind of creative work, any kind of work where you bring stress to it. Um, especially if it's thing there, if it involves sitting. Uh, now, certain things like the computer, you may have to find other alternatives to make your desk and your seating work for you. Uh, so there, I'll be talking about more things that apply specifically to drawing and uh, painting while sitting down. Um, so one of the things I wanted to start by t today was I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my own story and why this is so important to me. And that story begins in October of 2011 when I had a serious car accident. Um, I won't get into the details of it, but I was up on a mountain and I spun out on some, on some ice and I hit a tree and I was very, very lucky to come out of that alive. Um, I didn't break any bones, but I did have a lot of soft tissue damage and it and I already had a bad back so coming to that with this new this all of these new pains just did not help me at all and I was beginning uh, a practice where I was intentionally doing a lot of drawing for meditation and all of a sudden wanting to do more drawing and developing that and all of a sudden that became incredibly painful and yet I was also ordered to I had a concussion, so I needed to rest. And so there were times that I couldn't use my brain and I couldn't be using my, my eyesight up close. When I was able to start drawing again and I wanted to draw, um, it was very painful for me because a lot of my damage happened in my back and my upper spine. And the way that manifested for me was instead of sitting and being drawing hunched over, I couldn't do that anymore. And it really made me pay attention to the way I held my body. Uh, so I found a couple of things that were really useful for me to be able to draw with chronic pain at that point. One of them is to actually make the intention that I am, before I sit down, I'm actually going to make my space comfortable for me. And sometimes we don't even think about that. The other thing was to have a couple of good tools. So the first thing I got was this lap desk and that allowed me to draw in a lot of different situations. I could draw when I was sitting in a comfortable chair and I could prop some books up on my lap and then this would stay put against those books. Uh, I, I could lean this up against my table like this and like leaned my body into it and put a clip on the top and I could actually draw that way. Uh, after a while, I wanted something that was just a little bit more sturdy. And I found this nice easel. I'll see if I can pivot this so you can see it. And it's made by a company called Dollar Rowney and I'll be happy to put a link if they're still making it. Um, but it's really nice because it pivots and you can use it either vertically or you can use it with more of a landscape view, such as this. And there are things you can apply to the bottoms so that your piece can just rest or I'm using a clip to hold it on. So that's what I wanted to show you for today is just, again, setting up your space so that you can do your work comfortably. Um, if it's art in particular, or if it's something that involves writing or drawing. Um, and I will be talking about lots of other things that we can do over the course of the videos and the, um, that I'll be bringing about just when you sit down to the table, other things to keep in mind. So that's it for today's installment of Art Ergonomics. And I'm Sidel, and I am looking forward to seeing you in another video. Okay, bye.